day 15, January 9th, 2023, and I made it. I'm tired, but I'm here. Um, had a pretty, pretty solid Monday. Pretty good Monday, I would say. I've been really trying to, I think I said it before, but I took the social media apps off of, well, most of them off my, um, off my smartphone. The only one I kept on there was YouTube because I do use that for the other channel I work with to check on things and sometimes reply to comments. But I'm even thinking about maybe taking that um, app off it as well. But um, and it's been nice too because since I've done that, I've been really trying to kind of just um, break my attachment to my phone. Um, don't get me wrong, like I definitely am grateful for um, for smartphones and love the ability it gives to look things up if I need to or using maps when I'm going somewhere new. I mean, that's I'm always going to use that that functionality. But um, it's getting to the point where I just like I had to, I didn't have to, but I felt, I don't know, just I guess like any addiction, like I just kept like bringing it like just scrolling things or um, just searching things that just didn't really matter. And I don't know, it's really made me think about like why do I feel like I have to every moment like looking up something or reading about something when I could be reading a book if we get to that too I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, book I've been reading but but yeah I've just been thinking why do I feel the constant need to have to like inundate my brain with like something some random piece of knowledge and so as of late I've been trying just to not do that so staying away from my phone and even my computer to a certain degree, like I make sure to turn it off and I'm not doing something like this or having something planned. I mean, I will, and it's, to me, it's okay to have that free time where you're just kind of like looking or just enjoying technology on the internet. Like to me, that's that's fine, but I can plan for it. I can let's say, hey, I want to spend like this three minutes just on the internet, doing whatever and not worry about it. Instead of just like wasting hours and hours not planning it and then just, I don't know, then feeling worse afterwards, like, man, why'd I do that? And so, but yeah, it's, it's been good. It's been enlightening, just um, saying, like, man, I do have a problem kind of being alone with my own thoughts. Like, I thought I was, like, really good, like, oh, I can deal with, like, the silence, but definitely, definitely some room to grow there. And it's helped me, too, to really want to try meditating again and not just do it for the number. Because before I meditate, I was like, oh, God got to a streak of like 90 days or something but at that point I was really just doing it just for just to do it I wasn't really engaged with the meditation itself just to I was like oh you know another number marked off another like you know good habit checked off pretty much lost the reason behind wanting to do it but now I actually have a reason like I want to get better with with my thoughts and be able to kind of be with them more and I don't know just dig deeper into them, I guess. We'll see. So, but yeah, and then all was kickstarted by taking social media off of my phone, and now we're just going deep into it. So, yeah, it's, it's been it's been tricky. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's been, I still get the urge to just, like, pick it up, but then I'm just like, but why? <laughs> so at least I'm starting to question it now, which is, I think, a good thing. But yeah, so but it's it's been a good day though. I've been off my phone more, and when I'm on it, I'm more intentional, which definitely feels better. And yeah, just trying to cut out that inundation of information and just narrow it down to what I really want to know or people I really want to talk to or things I really want to look up. And so, and hopefully this will help me get back into just being more creative, like whether it's writing or even T two RPGs. Or just being able to more, be more foc, um, I guess focus better when reading. So maybe something to focus in general. We'll see. So I'm super excited to read digital minimalism, but um, but yes, that's my day. Had a pretty good day at work. It was busy, but got things done. Um, some things annoy me, but you know it is what it is, and it's one one day at a time. But um, overall, pretty solid day. Um, so yep, yeah, got a good amount of reading in though. So right now I'm reading The House in the Pines, like a quarter of the way into it. But I'm actually, so spoilers, definitely when I talk about books, there's going to be spoilers. And shout out to the library because that's how I got this baby. But um, definitely 
enjoying it a lot for like a suspense kind of thriller book. There's still um, there's a lot of, of depth to it. Like she talks about Guatemala and how the people disappeared and stuff like that, which I learned a little bit about. I'm still definitely ignorant on the topic, so I learn a lot more. But I did learn a little bit of it back when I was in college, and just how terrible and how how complex and how yeah bad that it was. And I just love how um, the author added that in there. And so hopefully, I feel like it's going to have to play a part because she's. She, Guatemala's a pretty big thing in here. I mean, her dad's from there. She goes back to how he tells he's a writer and how he was a part of, like, you know, um, the people who got taken out. And so I feel like there definitely has to be some connection to that and then the supposed killer in Frank. And so, um, especially because Frank's been there too. Went to the, um, oh, I forget the name, the Jaguar, the temple of the jaguar and so i'm like there has to be some sort of there has to be some sort of connection so i'm really excited to see like how they're gonna how the author's gonna interweave that thread together um and yeah and so, so i'm definitely enjoying it more than i thought like at first i was like i don't know but with that depth and the depth and just the, the way that she interacts with the family how she meets them after being away for so long i think that's her first time visiting guatemala and how they really took her in and I just, I don't know, I just loved all that, just that um, that scene, that connection that she was able to get after being there for not too long. And just, I thought that was really cool. And so, yeah, I'm enjoying it more than, um, than I did initially, I guess I should say. So really excited to see what's going to happen. Kind of scared, though, because, like, losing those hours with Frank on, that, on the, um, the balancing rock, like, what? Like, what is going on? And so it still has, so it's still kind of, I guess, beats you can say of, like, you know, the suspense, like, okay, well, this happening. She still hasn't really, like, eaten at all in, like, a couple days. She hasn't really slept. Um, like, in the whole thing, like, it's a, did the phone ring or did, did she hear things? So, yeah. So you still get you still get both, but there's still, I don't know, there still feels like there's a lot of depth to it. So I'm excited to see what, what's going to happen. Um Again, shout out to the library. Thanks, library. I get, I get to take chances on books. Like, you know, I don't think I would have picked this up if not for the library. And the offensive suggestion by um, um, an author that I like, Ethan Chattinger, might be saying his name wrong. But he wrote Singer Distance. And I I think I think it was, I think I think the one who recommended it. But whoever did, I couldn't be wrong. Either way, Ethan's still an awesome author. So I definitely, I really dug Singer Distance. So. Man, you can tell I'm a little tired because I'm just I can just ramble, but uh, I'll keep it short. I'm, I'm almost done anyways. But yeah, so that's that's where I'm at on that book. Um, but yeah, just gonna keep reading. I can't wait to read more of it tonight. Probably gonna read a little more for eat dinner. Um, but later on tonight, I do have a zero session for a new podcast, and I'm gonna be on like the first like little season of it. And so I'm really excited about that. It's a TTRPG and the um, the character I came up with, I used them once before, but it's I found it's fun to use char- the same characters again, especially in different campaigns or worlds, because you can just add, there's like a difference to them, and like a, like a, you can bring out a different side that you didn't see the first time you played them, and so it's actually been really rewarding. So it's like the second time I'm doing it, and I've already, I've talked to the um, the DM, and we were able to work out a, like I said, I think I talked before, we were able to compromise, and we came up with a really cool way to to integrate the character there. So I'm really excited to get to play him again. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I can bring a lot of like nuance and just like little things to really flush him out, so to speak. <laughs> if you knew the character, you'd be like, ooh, flush him out. But it's, I don't want to spoil nothing. So I'll leave it at that. I mean, maybe if you ask any comments, I mean, maybe then I'll be like, I'll, I'll talk a little more if, if I can. But yeah, so zero session tonight. And looking forward to it. I play with like four of them before so it's gonna be really fun to get to play with them again and just uh yeah and it's like i said it's a new podcast so i'm really excited that they asked me to be a part of the first season like i like i feel honored to be able to take part in that just um that people want to like play with me or like people want to talk to me i guess um and so that's it just yeah just that alone just um makes me feel like a human being i guess i don't know Makes it feel good, but yeah. So, about to read a little more. Eat dinner. 
um, well, after I finish cooking dinner, then eat it, you know, always fun cooking. I mean, it's a one pain about not eating out is cooking all the time. But like I said, cook the same thing. So it's easy, but it's still like, I don't want to cook, but I'm grateful that I have the wherewithal to afford the ingredients to cook and that I can, and that I have the appliances to do it and the house to do it in. So I am super grateful, even though sometimes I get tired and I can be a little lazy, but, um, I can't complain about that though. I mean, but yeah, super grateful to have the opportunity to do it. So yeah, that was my day. How was, how was, you know, I don't think I've asked, how was your day? How, how, how have your days been? How's your January, 2023 been so far? I would, and actually, I actually really am pretty curious. So if you want to leave a comment about it, but yeah. And also, like I said, let me know if you're hitting the, if you're hitting the library as well, let me know what books you're checking out. Definitely. I love making a list. And so although I need to, I'm, go, I'm going to make a list, but I'm not going to hold, put them on hold because I need to get through those books and digital minimalism. So I do want to slow my roll and just make the list and actually hold them when I'm ready to have the book and not get like 30. So, but let me know because I'm down to like, you know, making the list is fun and I can always have time to get to them. So, yeah. But yeah, that was, it was once gone pretty long but uh hope you enjoyed it as usual thank you so much if you're watching um appreciate it um and yeah hope you have a good day night evening morning whenever you watch this hope you have a good whatever else is coming like it's a morning the afternoon having dinner just have a good one in general but yeah i will see you tomorrow for day 16 crazy